that is some serious brickwork going on right there. Today is a big day. I'm going to the studio to fully complete my EP. 100% it will be done this afternoon. Building this EP has been such a massive learning experience. There's been a lot of good things in the experience, but there's also been a lot of bad things too. But I've learned from those bad experiences and I'm really, really happy with the product I've built, which is why I'm really excited for today because it will be completely done. I'll be able to put that behind me and get ready for the distribution part, which at the end of the day is almost more important. Not exactly that warm out right now, but uh, still okay. Update on the graffiti. Looking good. Looks like it's some kind of monster on a skateboard maybe? I don't know, to be determined. If you build it, they will come fallacy. That is bullshit. If you build something and you don't tell anyone about it, no one will come, I guarantee it. That, I don't know whoever said that. Maybe it's true, like the odd case, but in today's world with the internet and with the amount of music that is being produced and the amount of content that is being pushed on the internet, you have to be telling people about your music on the daily. I just left Beta House because their coffee is so good and uh, I just feel like I need to have one every morning now. I'm going to Martin's house to finish the mastering and some final revisions and then the EP will be all finished. Almost at the studio and what is mastering anyways? So basically, it's just getting all the songs that are on the album all level and making sure they're all consistent across all the tracks, the starts, the finish, making sure those line up nicely and just perfecting everything. It's the final step before you press the songs, which really prepares them for distribution. Two things I've really learned in this experience of building this EP. One, never ignore your gut opinion. Like take people's opinions that are coming in, because a lot of people will have opinions and feedback about your work and I think it's good to take those opinions in but never to ignore your gut opinion and also pay attention to the people giving you the advice if someone is an expert in the area that you're they're giving advice to maybe trust that person more who's someone who is not because a lot of people will have constructive feedback or opinions when they're not even an expert in the subject the other thing is the balance between patience and getting something that is good enough. You need to be patient because you want to build a quality product. For example, when we're making the EP, we had to re-record a lot of different instruments because the first recording wasn't that quality, but we had the patience to re-record again because we knew it would really, really improve the quality of the EP. But sometimes it gets to a point where you want to make changes and it doesn't, it might not really affect the quality, but you're just wanting to make these changes to make it perfect or to make it that much better when it already is good enough. And so that balance needs to strike at some time so you don't spend your whole life trying to perfect something when it's already good enough and when you should already just get it out there. Just left the studio. My songs are finished, actually. They're currently in this little square box. Five finished songs. They are complete. I'm very, very excited. Um, yeah, nothing else to say. These guys are still working hard all day. Quality hard work right there.
I'm so excited for you to listen to these songs. Hello! Uh, here I am, day five of seven of busking. And I feel like this is a repetitive statement, but I'm not surprised that the spot I wanted to go to again is taken. And so, gonna have to walk around a little bit more, or you know what, today I'm gonna try the strategy of just waiting here. It's pretty quiet out here anyways, and uh, I think that's because it's going to rain. You know why Tiger Woods was the best golfer? Because he practiced in the rain. I don't know what it is, but I think the, the patience card worked. I only waited five minutes, and now I'm about to set up. Okay, we just finished. I just finished busking for three hours. My number one busking fan. Yes, thank you for this beautiful meal. Headed home, stayed. I actually bust for three and a half hours, a little longer than I expected, but the last hour, the sunset was out. And so it was right over there. It was really beautiful, so I decided to stay. And that was a good decision because I had crowds of people at that point just because it was a beautiful scene. Sunset, bridge, cathedral. You see what I mean. Anyways, that was Elisa back there. She was a really sweet fan. Sat down and stayed for um, like an hour and had her, her salad. Okay, headed home now. <laughs> 